I'm gonna get a taste of how tricky it is. <laughs> Thank you all very much for coming. I can't see any of you, but I'm sure you're there. What? Is this good? See, I don't even know how to use this. Look, all week I've been thinking about what I would say. And the reason I said yes to speaking is because um, what we're celebrating today, and I don't mean the show, I mean Veterans Day, is very important to me for a number of reasons. I started thinking about it and eight years ago, we started on this journey and this journey required military assistance uh, from many different divisions. And when we reached out our hand and asked for assistance from the US military, we got so many hands back. Well, the biggest hurdle for me saying yes to this role was that I would be representing a community of very special people within the US Navy. And I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And the only reason I've been able to kind of pull it off is because of the support that I've had from select individuals, a number of them are in the crowd tonight, and you know who you are, gentlemen. Um, the US Navy SEALs, I've never had a group of people make me feel more a part of, more equal and more welcome than that community. So first of all, I'd like to say a sincere and, and humble thank you so much to the entire community. And second of all, I'd just like to take a minute to say to every serviceman and woman in this country, whether currently active, deployed or otherwise, whether heading into a retirement or well settled into retirement, or whether the memory of the souls that we no longer have, Thank you so much for providing all of us, including guests and expatriates like me from Australia and other countries, the freedom that we have every day, the civil liberties that we try not to take for granted, and the peace that we have every night when we lay our children down and close our own eyes. So for all you service people out there, from the bottom of our hearts on Hawaii 5 Thank you for your service. Aloha.